Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another monthly review chat with that month being March. I won't be honest, I haven't really done much this month. This is going to be a shorter video than my last than my last two months, but I'll try and make it interesting. The first thing that I was going to talk about, what was the first thing I was going to talk about? Oh, what we're watching at the moment. We finished Oz, which is what we've been watching since end of last year, uh, last week, and it broke my heart. What I was hoping wouldn't happen happened in the final episode. And yeah, it was just very, very sad, but I loved it. I love that show. We are still watching Lost. We are on series five at the moment, so we've not got long, not got much left. And we've just started watching Sons of Anarchy. We're only two episodes in and I'm really enjoying that. Something that I watched the other day, which was on the BBC, is The Replacement and it was fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. I would have loved it if it had been like a six episode series, but it was only three. Um, it's about a woman who goes on maternity leave and she's like getting paranoid about her replacement. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say too much. If you want to watch it, it's on BBC iPlay, so go and watch that. I do need to watch Broadchurch, actually. I've forgotten about that. Next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I have talked about in my last video, maybe the video before, and that is Beauty and the Beast. Uh, it came out in the cinemas last week and... I am going to see it tomorrow, so I am going to cut to future Charlotte so she can tell you what she thinks of it. Charlotte. Yesterday I saw Beauty and the Beast at the cinema. I cried four times in the first ten minutes of the film. I started crying as soon as it started, as soon as the music kicked in. I started crying again when uh, the Beast became a beast. And then I started crying twice when Belle was singing Belle. I've got to admit, I wasn't overly keen on Emma Watson as Belle. But I didn't think that I would like her because I'd already had seen some clips and I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I think she overacted a little bit. Uh, she's just not Belle to me. She's too British and I don't know. There's something. I think they could have done better casting. However, uh, the Beast and Gaston and LeFou, LeFou, more than made up for it. They were amazing, as were all of the like. Uh, objects like Lumiere and Cogsworth. If you get a chance to go and see it, you have to go and see it. It is amazing. It is just a complete nostalgic trip to my childhood. It stuck to the original film well enough to keep you engaged and so you knew what was coming and you were excited for it, but it had newer things as well, enough to keep you kind of on your feet. Well, is that a saying? On your toes and to kind of not be bored. Uh, not that you could be bored because I think it's amazing. I'm going to see it again next week. Very insightful future Charlotte, well done for that. Yesterday I had an appointment I've been waiting for for about four months, longer than that maybe, and that is a gastroenterology appointment because I had problems with my stomach a lot. Without going into too much detail, I have to go to the toilet a lot and I get very bloated and I feel very, very nauseous. I've been referred for a sigmoid oscopy because uh, I couldn't go through the colonoscopy. I've tried to have one of those before and I couldn't do the bowel prep and I am needle phobic so it wasn't great and I was shouted at by the consultant. So um, the doctor was really nice and she just said that they don't want to do anything too invasive. They'll, they can do take biopsies by doing that and so we'll do that first. Um, and if anything else needs to be done later then we'll deal with that later but it just means that I won't need to have bowel prep I just need to have an enema which is fine because I'm used to them I don't and I won't need sedation I can have some gas and air and I'll probably just have some lorazepam beforehand but other than that it's going to be a lot more comfortable and it might get me some answers I think she's taking some biopsies she wanted to test for a few things um, that will be happening in the next few weeks uh, my mum's actually calling them as we speak to find out when the appointment will be so yeah something exciting I'm I can't say too much about it just yet because I don't want to because if it goes wrong or if I don't go through with it then I kind of will just feel disappointed but I'm doing something next week which I'm is so cool and I never it never occurred to me as something that I would be able to do so I'm looking forward to that and if I do go through with it I will talk to you about it in next month's monthly review a few weeks ago I uploaded some music onto my channel uh, YouTube doesn't like the song apparently so it's not gone to people's subscription boxes so if you could please go and watch it I'll leave the link down below or here or something but it's a cover of At Last by Etta James and I just did it like in one take apart from the harmonies and I just yeah I would really like your uh, opinions and for you to go and watch it or share it or do whatever I wanted to show you something that I got last week well I got it last week and it arrived a few days ago and it's a jacket that I wanted for ages 
and it's a leather jacket. I finally found it on eBay. It's a leather jacket. It's like a vintage, oversized style leather jacket. I look fucking badass. It's so nice. I do have a similar one, but it, it's cropped. And I was kind of hoping it'd be a bit more oversized, like really massively like a man's jacket, but it's a bit more fitted. And I think I'm okay with that. Big enough to kind of not be tight and restrictive and it still looks oversized without making me look like a big cow. I always look like a cow. Something I'm doing this weekend is I am going to see Sam play in London. He's in a band, if I haven't told you that already, and he's going to play with another band for like one one night only sort of thing. And I'm going to get to see him play, and I've not seen him play before, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm driving down. It's in North London, so it's kind of not too far, and it's, it's only like 40 miles. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. I've not been out in that sort of environment for years so it's going to be weird but it's going to be so so nice to see Sam play and do what I know he's so good at so I'm looking forward to that. So it is now the future. I filmed this video last week and there's a few things that I forgot to mention and some new things that have come up that I just thought I'd let you know about. I went to Sam's gig last Saturday and I had such an amazing time. It was as I, sorry I'm fidgety because I'm very hot. It was so amazing to see him play, um, the band were really good, I enjoyed the music a lot more than I thought I would, I knew I would like it, but I didn't know I, was like, I would like it as much as I did. It was so nice being in that kind of atmosphere again, and I did really well on the drive down. I did have a few panicky moments because driving in London is very different, especially when you're faced with like a six lane motorway. Um, but yeah, I did really well and I had a lovely time and the sound was amazing. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is actually about how nice the weather has been. It's turning into spring and obviously the clocks went back last weekend. It's turning into spring and it just, it's so nice looking out and seeing blue skies and going out and I'm actually wearing shorts now. Um, I never feel like in the winter my mood gets worse. My mood's kind of just like changes anyway. But then when it starts to get like this, I do just feel like, oh, yeah, I like this. The last thing I'm going to um, say from the future is on Monday I received a phone call about a property that they are, the council are looking at for me and I went in yesterday for an interview. It sounds really good, there's one massive problem with it um, which we're going over on Saturday to have a look and that there's no allocated parking space so if I don't have a parking space close enough to the house I won't be able to get in and out of my own house easily and I'll be too afraid of going out because uh, I'll be worried about when I come back that somebody's in my space and I can't park because I obviously can't walk too far to get in. So we're going to check it out. It's a two bedroom bungalow in uh, just outside of Northampton. The other downside I guess is the fact that it's further away from the sound that I would like. It's about the same distance as I am now but I was hoping to be a bit closer to be closer to him and to save on petrol and all that but yeah. The one good thing is though that I found out that no matter where I go I am allowed a puppy, so I am very, very, very happy about that. I obviously wasn't sure because some properties are not allowed, but as long as I get a bungalow, which is what they're putting me in for because flats aren't any good, I can have a puppy. Something bad that I was going to tell you about is my bursitis in my knees is back with a vengeance. My knees are just so swollen and painful and clicking, and it's really bad. And I don't know why, because when I got it um, the first time, it was because I'd been on my knees a lot that makes me sound really filthy because I was crawling around but now I don't know why I've not been on my knees at all really maybe like a little bit um, when I do my physio exercises but it's, it's it's hurting the only thing that you can do to sort it out is like have a, like uh, anti-inflammatory drugs which I have anyway but I have to limit because I don't want to get a stomach ulcer again and uh, rest rest is the only thing really I drove like massively last week I drove Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, today's Tuesday. Like each of those times being like 50 mile round trip or yesterday it was only like 25 but it just, today is like I'm having a rest and then tomorrow I'm driving to Leighton Buzzard because we're going to see Beauty and the Beast with Lola and then we're driving back to mine tomorrow night because we need to get Sam's pedals for his gig and then we're staying at mine Thursday and then going back to Leighton on Friday and I'm staying there and then Saturday we're going to London so it's a lot of driving and after this week I'm going to be dead and I'm going to need a lot of rest
but then tomorrow, no, next week I've got the thing that I, I'm very excited about, so I'll be driving back to Milton Keynes and Leighton Buzzard on Tuesday, I think. Uh, the only other thing that I was going to talk to you about is the lights that you might be able to see behind me. Can you see those lights there? It's like fairy lights with like a clip for photos attached. I'll insert a video now of what they look like close up, but you can put Polaroids on them and I think it's really cool. I've put some, it's mainly photos of me and Sam from the same, it's the same photo but just different ways I've edited it, but it's the only photos I've got at the moment, but I just wanted to put them up. They're kind of for my new house, but I wanted to put them up now because I think they're really nice and I just like having, I like having lots of photos. They're really nice. <laughs> My hair is growing so much, I'm so pleased. Um, I did something new with it yesterday, I put a new thing in and it's kind of, I've been okay with having it down, kind of. I feel still feel a little bit like a horse when I have my hair down, but I always do. That reminds me, I have my Botox next week, my third Botox treatment. Um, my doctor is leaving, he's retiring, so I'm, it'll be someone new doing it from um, after this one, which I'm not happy about because it's anxiety inducing enough um he's such a lovely doctor and it's just a bit shit that he's he's retiring please don't retire mr davis because i like you um so yeah i think that's all i want to talk about really it's, as i said it's been a really quiet month um it's not actually been a quiet month i've had some really shit moments so kind of i'm not going to dwell on them too much um but yeah i'm next month what's happening now I'm trying to think what's happening next month next month at the end of april my mum and dad are going away to america so i've got the house to myself for 10 days which i'm very excited about we were supposed to be going away at the beginning of april but or we can't because um i don't have enough money so i'm so i might rearrange it for may end of may or like early june because sam's birthday's in june so we could do something then I don't think anything else is happening in April, but if there is, then you'll hear about it next month. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Oh, yeah, check out that video and check out my blog, which is down below. Thank you. Bye.